Hey guys, the objective of this video <coughs> is to find phi dash given C dash for an undrained case. We do that by going from the total stress to the effective stress or more circle, and then we use our failure criterion to find phi dash. So in our example, the axial stress is 150 kPa, the radial stress is given as 90 kPa, and the pore water pressure at failure equals 20 kPa. And once again, this is an undrained case. So we know for an undrained case, we can either do total stress analysis or effective stress analysis and we know that effective is much easier we always use effective most of the time we use effective so if we were to draw this more circle the axial stress we said in the previous video the axial stress is the same as sigma 1 and the radial stress is the same as sigma 3 and once again these are total stresses so we're going to plot these so we would have sigma 3, which is equal to 90, and sigma 1, which is equal to 150 kPa. So if we were to draw more circle, it would look like this. I, I don't need to draw the bottom. It's not so necessary. So now, we need, though, for our failure criterion, this to be an effective stress. And we're given effective stress parameters. So we need to go from total to effective stress. So we know how to do that. We know that sigma 3 dash will equal sigma 3 minus the pore water pressure. So sigma 3 is 90. The pore water pressure at failure, it has to be at failure, is 20. So minus 20 equals 70 kPa. Similarly, sigma 1 dash will equal sigma 1 minus U. So sigma 1 is 150 minus 20, which will equal <coughs> 130. So now we can draw our effective stress more circle. So sigma 3 dash is 70, so that's going to be around there. This is 70. And sigma 1 dash is 130, so it'll be around there. And we can connect our circle. And there we have in blue our effective stress more circle. So all we did graphically was we subtracted the pore water pressure 20. So we went from here to here by minusing u, which we minus 20.